I've put together a team of art supplies today in an attempt to complete the three marker character design challenge. I got this from an Instagram artist. Um, their name was the Apparat Artist. And I thought the idea was so cool. And I was like, hey, can I do that? And they're like, yeah, do it. It'll be so cool. Blah, blah, blah. You know, we... <laughs> as you do. So right here, I have a 120 pack of Ohu markers, which Ohu was kind enough to send me when they were first released. This is my largest singular collection of different colors of markers. So I thought it would be a good option to use for this challenge. So I've actually never used these before. Um, there is a broken blending sheet. So you can put this underneath thin paper so that it doesn't bleed onto your desk, which is actually kind of smart, but unfortunately it seems to have got crushed in shipping. <laughs> Bit of a bummer. Anyway, the markers. Now, even though there's 120 here, I'm only going to need three for today's challenge. So we have to randomly choose three colors. And then when I see those colors, I'm going to try and create a character based off of those colors. And I'm actually really, really excited about this because characters are my favorite thing to draw. Now I'm going to like stick my hand in here and find a marker. Marker number one. Ooh, it's like a robin's egg blue. Okay, that is not at all like the cap. That is why we swatch. It's number 76. Now this is where it gets a little tricky because some colors just don't go well together. Let's hope we don't get any of those. Da, 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 da. We got... Oh, another blue, 70. So now we have a little bit more of a saturated blue. And right, I'm hoping we get like something fun like a yellow or I don't know, anything different than blue. Anything but blue, anything but blue. Why don't we kick from this side? Oh, pink. <laughs> okay, hey. All right, I'm actually really happy with this. So the colors we got for today's character are 76, 70, and 17. And if we look closely, you'll see this one does not match the cap at all. So this color makes me think innocent. I don't know, like that's the first word that comes to mind. And when you're creating a character design, it's all about brainstorming and throwing ideas onto paper. So the first words I thought of were innocent, blueberry, and depressed. So blueberry, I obviously think of a blueberry. Something visual that I think of when I hear the word innocent is maybe like pigtails. And then depressed, I think of like tears and water. Now, none of this is still inspiring me. So I'm going to try a different sort of word association and draw an article of clothing that each of these colors make me think of. So like this color is very close to like jeans. So I can draw some uh, jeans. Denim. These two colors together honestly make me think of like a 1980s um, windbreaker. <laughs> like, so it'd be like the character. I feel like I need the body to be able to draw this. So those like big poofy ones with the buttons. Give them some 80s hair. They have like stripes of different colors. They're pretty gaudy. I feel like I still have one in my closet. But I'm not sure I have enough colors to really pull this one off. The beginning stages of brainstorming is all about just like basically brainstorming the paper. So taking what's your brain and just throwing it at the paper and hoping something sticks and something can continue to inspire you and spark something. Actually, I think those were a little bit more 90s, weren't they? Not sure. I don't know. I owned one. <laughs> Get a scrunchie on that wrist. I'm going to incorporate those jeans and denim down here. Honestly, these colors I think would work for this, but before I commit, I do want to draw a little something inspired by the pink color. And for some reason, I'm feeling like an overall dress. So like this was the character. The dress would have like that front section like this, and then the straps, then a waistband, and then maybe a circle skirt kind of thing. Let's see what kind of character that spawns. What if we include the, the bagginess from that character? Always get stuck on the hairstyles. When you think pink hair, what's the first hairstyle you think of? What about like a half up, half down? Bangs, definitely bangs. <laughs> Alright, so that's what we've got with our first pass of just going through each color individually. Now just looking at these, this is definitely more up my alley and what I kind of tend to draw on my own. And I feel like this one 
definitely pulls me a little more out of my comfort zone. And so that one's kind of exciting me a little bit more because there are definitely elements in this character that I want to explore further. I want to try and merging these two characters together to create something a little bit different. So I'm going to take my favorite elements of each and just cram them into one. And I'm going to use this uh, pink color erase pencil. I'm going to use this so that I can maybe use some colors on top of it. So let me try and do like just a basic pose for now, since we don't really know their personality yet. There you go, just sketch out a body type. <laughs> Ooh, that's a pretty powerful stance. I like that. Now I want those high-waisted mom jeans. <laughs> and like I have it all kind of cinching at that point so that we don't lose that in the character design. I'm thinking about using that coat right there but shortening it maybe? Not sure, let's leave that for now. Let's do the hair, cause I know what I wanna do with that. I kinda got an idea. I wanna do those big explosive bangs. But then I'm going to do the half up, half down haircut that we had in the pink character. <laughs> Part of character design, especially in illustration, is trying to exaggerate things. So I really like the hoop earrings. So let's make them huge, you know, make them noticeable. <laughs> Let's make it so that if she turned her head, they'd get in the way and be kind of annoying. Like that's how big I want them. Imagine wearing those. <laughs> you know what, now that I'm looking at the earrings, let's take that original earring and make that the inside. So now they're these like huge teardroppy shapes. I had a Barbie with those things. Weird things that you remember. <laughs> I'm thinking of giving her a turtleneck. And then uh, oversized sweater maybe. Even make it a little long on her. But maybe these stripes are, were supposed to line up if the size was like made to fit you. And then for shoes, I'm honestly feeling like using this pink color and giving her a little pump, but I didn't really leave enough space. So for this one, I'm gonna write pump next to it so I don't forget that that was an idea I had. But for here, I'm just gonna give them basic sneakers. Now I'm thinking, since there's really no rules to this challenge and I've kind of made up a lot of it, <laughs> I'm gonna allow myself to use other colors, but, oh, I lost a, a nail. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna allow myself to use other colors as long as these three colors are the main focal point and the other ones are just used to make these three colors look better. So the first thing I feel like I know I want is the hair to be pink. <laughs> so let me just go in and color that and see how I like that. Oh wait, I thought the earrings were going to be pink. I messed up. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> just keep going. Got lots of paper left. And then at least one stripe of the sweater. You know what would be fun since I want to include more pink? <laughs> what if she has like a star, like a patch? Or maybe if I want to follow that stripe pattern. Although, wait, 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 wait. I'm including a few too many different things here because we have stripes, we have big circles. I don't think I want to include stars. So why don't we include some kind of circle or another stripe? Because sometimes if you have too many different crazy things in one character design, it's just not going to look cohesive. <laughs> Let's try a circle, see what that looks like. What if it's like a loop? And then another one down here. And on just some abstract shapes. You know, something like that. It feels like it suits the character. <laughs> something like that. Now, I originally had envisioned this number 70 as the denim, but now that we're going in a bit more retro feel, I think I want the lighter blue to be the denim. Yeah, let's give that a go. I'm gonna use some horizontal stripes to kind of give it that denim texture. All right, there you go. And then I would use the darker color for these circles. Wait a minute. You know what might be fun? Is if this half of the stripe, the denim is just a different wash of denim. Let's go for it. Let's do it and then see what we think about it afterwards. So then I can color in these circles the same denim that the rest of the paints are made out of. Is that weird? I kind of like it. Oh, I don't know. Now up here, I kind of want to use the darkest blue for the scrunchie. 
can use the light blue here for this stripe. Maybe add one more underneath it. And then use the darker blue for the sweater. Make sure everything has like a nice flat color to it. These two are the same color, but for some reason they look completely different. What happened here? What I'll probably have to do is take this one and darken around it. I'm gonna test this number 93 where the hands are before I go in with the face. See if I like it with this color scheme. Just having a hard time visualizing if it's gonna suit it or not. I was worried it might be a little too saturated and compete. Although wait, looking up on the camera, these two look like they're very similar in tone. So it's kind of hard to see the difference. But like when we come down here, it's probably gonna work here because we've got lighter colors. Yeah, see how well that works down there. Although we have a lot of light tones up here. So for the earrings messed up, if the earrings had worked properly, this color probably would work. But I'm still gonna use it for uh, this character, even if we don't use it as we continue to experiment with this character. You know what? A good trick I have is to start light and build up. So let me start with this color. See, this is a terrible option, honestly, for this color too. See how it blends in with that pink? You know what? Screw it. Let's go all in. I love the way this looks next to that light pink. Perfect contrast there. There we go. Now I want to go over that with the white gel pen and some fine liners and see what we're working with. That'll give me a better idea. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of missed line art. I haven't used this much lately. Now that some of this is dry, I might be able to do another layer. See if we can get some darker tones wherever I feel like it. Ooh, this works really well for shading. Ooh, I got lucky, look at this. Yes, oh, I love that. I'm gonna try a couple different color combinations here. See if they change her personality at all. Those big earrings. Ooh, exaggerate them a little bit more like that. Now that I kind of have an idea of what I want the outfit to look like, I can experiment a little bit more with the style. Like elongate the neck a little bit and give it that big voluminous turtleneck shape. <laughs> you know, more like a turtle. As the name suggests. So I wanted to try a version where pink is like the accent color. So I want that on those earrings. I think I'll still keep the pink lips. Those are cute. Like a bubble gum. Could try the light blue as the hair. Let's just try this combo. Eh, not crazy about the blue hair. I thought I did these two the same way, but they look completely different. Now I start being a lot quicker near the end there because something about this one's not jiving with me. <laughs> I think the colors are all kind of competing. I'm gonna do this one in pencil. Change it up a bit. See if that cures whatever's ailing me. Try sketching something here. Let's try to exaggerate and change things up. Hopefully not draw the exact same character over and over again. <laughs> I still want to try maybe change up the character. Hmm, that's actually, I didn't even think of that. I mean, I still have the power to completely change the character design if I need to, to make the colors work. I might even change the hair up a bit. We could go back to that like windbreaker idea. Go crazy with the geometric shapes. Super baggy. Then we could do leggings on the bottom. So then we have baggy to tight. Add some contrast there. And we end up with something kind of like this. And then we could do light blue, pink, dark blue. And then maybe pink leggings. Ooh, 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 I'm feeling them. I'm feeling, I'm getting leg warmers. Ooh, ooh, okay, wait, wait, I'm getting excited. Well, my horse is, let me draw it first. <laughs> Yeah, basic skeleton sort of thing. That's how I draw skeletons. Just really long legs with shoulders and a head. <laughs> Got the windbreaker. That's big poofy sleeves. Pretty long. Maybe it comes down to like there. Got this design. Got the zipper down the front. All right, and then here we got the end of the coat. Her hips were like here. So we have legs that just sort of like protrude from the bottom of the coat. 
And then maybe some leg warmers. Ooh. Hmm. It's not speaking to me as much as it did when it was in my head. Ponder, ponder, ponder. I think she just looks too short. Is that the problem here? Maybe I need the jacket to be shorter or just overly bigger. Like if we bring the shoulders down to like here and then curve it a bit more so we know her shoulders are smaller than that. Okay, I think that was an improvement. <laughs> I don't think it suits her though. Not crazy about it. It's just a little, mm, not something I really like. <laughs> There we go, something like that. I like that a lot better. <laughs> I feel like this design's a little bit more cohesive. I lost the scrunchie somewhere. Let's just uh, try to get to know the character a little bit more. Draw it a couple more times. See what like changes, see if I like what changes about it, see if I don't like what changes about it. What if we gave her like the classic Whitney Houston hair from the 80s? <laughs> like huge on top. Maybe it's all being pulled to the one side. It's definitely not something I draw every day. <laughs> Actually, got a reference here. It comes forward a little bit more. Kind of like bangs. And then it's pulled to the sides. Try something else. Try something else. An excuse to draw a whole new head. Oh, she's smiling. She already likes this hairstyle and I haven't even given it to her yet. I'm literally just searching 80s hairstyles and seeing which ones I think suit her. <laughs> mm. Well, see this hairstyle now gives me like a lot of room to add those earrings. That's kind of what I liked about this one. So let me just grab a circle and whoosh. Just massive statement earrings here. It is kind of cute. Hmm, looking back where we started. This I like because it feels like it's like a 1920s hairstyle. It's got those huge earrings which just pushes it to another decade, you know? And I think this hairstyle will help in separating the colors out a little bit better. So yeah, let's try that out. We'll go over here and uh, draw her out on this page. Let's see if I can come up with a fun pose. Kind of want to pull those arms out since they have those big baggy sleeves. Maybe have her look upwards, make room for those earrings, then that hair, oversized. Hands spread out like, look at me. <laughs> These legs need a little more work. <laughs> Leg warmers. I think I'll do ballet flats. That feels natural to me. It's kind of cute. She looks so happy. Look at that. <laughs> now I might want to make the earrings even bigger. Ooh, ooh. Hmm. What do I feel about that? It might be pushing it. it kind of looks like mouse ears. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start coloring some of the things. But not the earrings, because I'm still thinking about those. <laughs> but color what I know needs to be colored. Like her pink ballet slippers. Or flats, belly flats, that's what they are. And then I think this stripe was what I wanted to be pink. Color the heck out of that. And then the earrings are the next... Well, actually, wait, 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 wait. The earrings aren't the next pink thing. Her hair was going to be pink. Cause I like this color scheme better than that one. Ooh, I'm nervous about this. I gotta figure out what I want those earrings to look like. It's difficult decision time. I mean, on the, on the scale of difficult decisions, this isn't that difficult. <laughs> but currently right now, it's the most difficult decision I'm making in these two split seconds. Let's go with the small ones. I think that was the right decision. Okay, then we can color those in pink. Give it a uh, shade this rear leg here. Rear leg. That was not weird. Right, that's technically all the pink. Oh no, I messed up! Uh, I wanted pig hair. What was I thinking? It literally just 
set it all out. Okay, I'm over it. What color? Did I used the lighter blue for the hair last time. Do I want to go darker blue? No, I don't. I don't think so. I think I want to go light blue here, dark blue here. A thumbnail could fix these problems we're having. <laughs> okay, looking good. Okay. 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 <laughs> I have to keep reassuring myself after that mistake. Next, I want the light one to go on the top of the windbreaker. I honestly think this was the color of my coat when I was growing up. <gasps> Hold my breath. I don't want to layer this too much because I want it to be on the lighter side so that we can have that dark skin. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay, I think I did good. I think I did good. <laughs> now this other section. All right, not as good this time. Went over the same areas a couple times. But I do actually want this section here to be darker, so fill that in. Okay, here's what we've got so far. I missed the pink hair, not gonna lie. <laughs> Honestly, I think this skin tone might work. It's not quite as dark as I anticipated, but it's basically these three all layered on top of each other. And I might be able to layer it again and get it even darker. So let me start there, because again, you can always get darker. <laughs> I started with this sort of like orange. So it's like super saturated. Then I use this 101, which isn't saturated at all. It's kind of gross and green, but on top of that orange, it looks brown, right? And then I just take the pink and layer that on top of that. And then it sort of like blends in with the color scheme a little nicer. Hey, okay. I don't know, I'm learning. Now let's try it on the face. That's where uh, that'll be a trial and error here. <laughs> okay. Layer one down. That's the color 25. Now I'm using 101. That looks different. Okay, I've noticed that sometimes one end will be darker than the other end, which is a big deal. Okay, and then lastly, we use pink so that it'll stop looking so green. Ta-da! Oh, I forgot the lips. Let's do the pink lips. I'm gonna try and keep the shapes really simple. See what happens. Cause I like the way it looks right now with just the flat colors. Do I wanna I kinda feel like adding a line here? Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Now the only problem with going about the technique of uh, pencil color then liner is I feel like I don't put as much depth into the liner. I kinda just end up outlining the shapes of color. Whereas if I do line art on its own, I like, I don't know, I add a little bit of pizzazz to it, I feel like. All right, I do think I want to add an extra line up here to the hair. There we go. I'm gonna actually grab the pink and color this in and see what happens. And then I also want to use this pink color for um, shading. So let's, ooh, that beautiful purple. Go, just make sure we add some depth to everything. And just go over here. Okay, we good. <laughs> okay, and then I maybe add some shading here on the torso. There we go. I think we got something here. I like her. Now I just need to name her. I should have named her at the beginning. Why do I always do this? What do we name you? What do we name you? Yes, I was just putting off time to name this chick. Okay. Hmm. No, I don't know. What is this girl's name? Google is suggesting that I name her Olivia. Okay, we're good. It's Olivia. <laughs> Why'd I do cursive? I don't even do cursive. There we go. <laughs> so here is the character we designed using these three colors. This is actually a very fun challenge. I enjoyed this one. Oh, I didn't use any white gel pen. Ooh, wait, is there somewhere I could stick this? Wait a second. Some uh, lip gloss. If this is a real windbreaker, it should be pretty shiny. So let me just add a nice shimmer to that. Perfect. Okay. 
Boom, 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 boom. Here we have Olivia, the character I designed off of these three colors right here. I want to thank the Apparat creator for the idea for this challenge. It was so much fun and I'll have a link to their Instagram in the description if you want to check them out. Also, if you're interested in giving these markers a new home, I'll have a link in the description for the giveaway. Yeah, I think that's everything. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed going through the process of creating Olivia. I still like this sketch. She's cute. <laughs> There's where we started and where we ended up. I think it's cute. I had a lot of fun. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys all next week and I hope you have a delicious evening full of waffles. Bye.